was a happy day for her. Yeah. So that's the first text, text message that we got was that the school was on lockdown and then the next text message was saying that there was an active shooter on campus. And what that's, did you do? Well, we, I tried to go over there to the school, but I just couldn't, they weren't letting anybody through anywhere. And then I got another text message saying to pick up the students at the Civic Center downtown. So. When did you find out that your, your daughter actually didn't survive? Uh, we didn't find that out until about 10 o'clock at night, I would say, 11, 10, around 10 or 11 o'clock at night. That's when we found out. Uh, they asked us for DNA, and uh, we gave them that, and about an hour later, they confirmed it for us. And your two sons here, she was the youngest of three? Yes. 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 So yeah, she was excited for the summer. We were going to go to the zoo, and maybe travel to Illinois to meet, to, to see some family and stuff. But obviously, um, you know, after what happened, it's just, it just, it just, it's not gonna happen now. Uh, it's gonna be hard, yeah, but we have each other. Yeah. And yeah. we've got, a, we've got a great support system. Yeah. So we're just gonna lean on that, you know, the best we can. I mean, nothing's gonna, it's always gonna be there, but she's in our hearts, she's in our minds. Yeah. That can't be taken away from us. You just never would have imagined that it would have happened in such a small town like this. And it's just unreal. We're just glad that we gave her the best life we could while she was here. There was never a dull day with her. She was so happy. She was so free of life. She was so happy. She was like positive. She was energetic. Energetic. And like, and like she was super nice. She. She wasn't like mean at all. She was so well mannered. She would say, thank you, you're welcome. Uh, yes, ma'am, no sir.